Introduction to Angles of Elevation and Depression Every day, we look at different things around us. We look up to see things above us. We look down to see things below us. Angles are formed when we look up or down. And these angles are called Angle of Elevation and Angle of Depression. First, let's follow Dylan around the park to see the different angles of elevation and depression. Dylan looks up at the bird on the tree. When he looks up, there is an angle formed. Let's find out where this angle is. Remember, Dylan was looking straight like this just now. Then he looked up at the bird. There is an angle here. We say this is the angle of elevation. Elevate means to lift up. With this angle of elevation of the bird from Dylan, he takes a close shot of the bird. Next, Dylan now needs to locate the crocodile farm. He sees a signboard and he tilts his head. Again, there is an angle of elevation of the signboard from Dylan's eyes. Remember, Dylan was looking straight like this just now. Then he looked up at the signboard. There is an angle here. This is the angle of elevation. Dylan cannot see the words clearly. He walks nearer to the signboard. The angle of elevation of the signboard from Dylan increases as he walks nearer to the signboard. There it is. The crocodile farm is over there. He walks to the crocodile farm. At the farm, he sees the crocodile and he looks down at it. When he looks down, there is an angle formed. Let's find out where this angle is. Remember, Dylan was looking straight like this just now. Then he looked down at the crocodile. There is an angle here. This is the angle of depression. Depress means downwards. With this angle of depression of the crocodile from Dylan, he takes a picture of it. He walks a few steps on the platform and sees a mud skipper opening its mouth. That is a rare sight. He tilts his head down to capture the picture. Again, there is an angle of depression of the mud skipper from him. This angle is larger than the angle of depression of the crocodile from Dylan because the mud skipper is nearer to Dylan. He took a picture of it. Now that we have seen angles of elevation and depression like these, do you notice any similarities in them? Notice that both angles of elevation and depression have a horizontal line. Notice there is also a line touching the horizontal. It is this line that connects the object from the observer's eye. It's called the line of sight. Thus, an angle of elevation or an angle of depression is between a horizontal and the line of sight. The angles are also at the reference point. And the word from is important to determine the reference point. Adding on, is there any relationship between these two angles? Let's continue following Dylan to find out. Dylan sees a squirrel on the tree. There is an angle of elevation of the squirrel from him here. Let's draw the horizontal and line of sight. Can you identify it? It is here. Interestingly, the squirrel looks back at Dylan. There is an angle of depression of Dylan from the squirrel. Let's draw the horizontal and line of sight. Can you see it? It is here. Since both horizontals are parallel and are cut by the same line, these two angles are equal. Dylan takes a picture of the squirrel and walks on. All in all, when we look up, an angle of elevation of the object from us is formed. Specifically, angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal and line of sight. When we look down, an angle of depression of the object from us is formed. And an angle of depression is the angle between the horizontal